why is Snowflake better than AWS? Both Snowflake and AWS can bring great value to your business in terms of storing and manipulating data. There are many ways in which Snowflake is clearly the superior platform. In fact, these benefits and advantages over other platforms is what has contributed to its meteoric rise in a short span of time. Let's look at some ways Snowflake is better than AWS and Redshift, so it's easier for you to choose between these solutions. JSON function and query support. One major way Snowflake was clearly superior to AWS for a long time was JSON function and query support. While things have changed significantly in recent times, there are still many ways that Snowflake still remains the superior solution in certain use cases. Snowflake is always equipped to support both structured and semi-structured data, thanks to native support for JSON queries and functions. AWS Redshift, on the other hand, made use of a purely columnar storage format that is optimized for the storage of structured data. While it would be possible to use JSON with Redshift, support was not native and there would be major speed implications. However, AWS has now introduced native JSON support to Redshift, bringing the two solutions much closer than before. It has also implemented support for PartyQuill, a query language that works with semi-structured data. However, in spite of these changes, Snowflake remains a better option for those using Parquet, Arvo, and XML. Instant auto scaling. One feature that Snowflake has always had is instant and automatic scaling. Scaling is often a big consideration for businesses looking for a cloud hosted data warehouse solution. With Snowflake, the scaling process takes advantage of the fact that storage and compute clusters are entirely independent of each other. This means that you can scale up in one or both areas in a matter of seconds without the need to copy any data. AWS Redshift, on the other hand, relies on a far more complex and resource-hungry resize operation. With Redshift, a simple resize operation can become prohibitively expensive and also cause many hours of downtime. Also, since there is little separation of storage and compute nodes, you might need to pay for resources that you do not really need when you scale up. However, this has been ameliorated to a degree with the recent introduction of RA3 nodes. In essence, any scaling up activity on AWS Redshift involves adding or taking away nodes to each and every cluster. This is a manual process and does not compare with auto scaling. Depending on the overall size of your clusters and how do you want to resize and scale your data, a process of scaling up can take anywhere from a few minutes to many hours and even days. This is where Snowflake auto scaling is a big advantage. Automated maintenance. Maintenance with Snowflake is completely automated and can be set up in a manner to happen without the need for any end user input. With it comes vacuum analyze tables. Snowflake manages all this in its own, not uh, the case with Redshift, which requires these processes to be carried out manually. Also, Snowflake eases the process of maintenance by allowing users to mirror individual data warehouses to analyze the same data in different ways without the need to copy it multiple times. This is a profound way to allocate essentially the same data to multiple users while keeping each instance isolated or to allocate separate data warehouses to specific tasks without overlap. Also, users generally have to compete over the same set of resources in AWS Redshift. While WLM queries can ease that to a degree, but the set of rules and directions are extremely complex and difficult to implement. On the other hand, Snowflake gives you the ability to simply start separate virtual warehouses or clusters, decouple storage and computing. Snowflake has always maintained storage and compute clusters independent of each other. The advantages of having this model of architecture are obvious, leading to a more efficient operation, easier scaling up or down, and more convenient maintenance tasks with a minimal user input. For a long time, AWS Redshift kept storage and computing coupled. However, with the launch of RA3 nodes in 2019, this issue seems somewhat resolved, allowing users to scale storage and compute differently and pay accordingly. Have questions? Call or email anytime at Next Phase AI. We help businesses like yours every day. Thanks for watching.